Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California, in the peaceful early morning before the madness kicks off, which obviously is the best time to check out new microphones. I'm with Kelly from Josephson Engineering. Hey, Kelly, how are you doing? Great, great, Sam. Thanks, it's good thanks to see for you. dropping by, yes. That's a pleasure. So we're standing behind your product launch for the show, which is the C705. This is a new and somewhat more affordable version of an existing microphone, yeah? Yes. So our 705 leverages off our already existing 715. Like the 715, it has our large single diaphragm center-supported uh, capsule. However, in the 705, uh, we do away with the Omni setting. Omni's helpful sometimes, but really most of the times that people use uh, this capsule, they're going to use it in cardioid uh, mode. So in order to make something cost reduced, that was the first thing to go away. The other thing that went away was the large nickel core Lundahl transformer. So this is a active balanced out or transformerless design. Uh, the other thing that is really obvious, you don't have to be here with us at the show to notice, uh, is it no longer has the metal foam basket. That's incredibly expensive. It gets rid of basket resonances, but we spent quite a bit of time uh, playing with different basket designs. And <clears throat> although this looks pretty typical, uh, if you notice, um, the bars aren't on the sides. They're not at 90 degrees. We skewed these and found an ideal placement in order to get rid of uh, standing wave modes. So like most of our microphones, if you go from on axis to off axis, you don't go from a clear sound to this kind of comb filtering sound. Uh, we managed to avoid that almost as much as our metal foam, but not quite as much. And part of what allows us to do that is this microphone uh, is done in partnership to a degree with Latch Lake, our neighbors a couple booths away, our friends in uh, Egan, Wisconsin, who make Latch Lake stands. And the reason why that was important is this is a steel housing. If we did this in brass, like a lot of our mics, we wouldn't have been able to have skinny bars and move them back the way we do. Um, so if you know anything about Latch Lake stands, uh, I think you'll know people aren't afraid of dropping their stands like they are with their mics, so they more frequently test how durable a stand is than they would be willing to do so with a microphone. And this body is done with their, their same metal fabrication line as their stands, their sa same treatment, the same kind of steel, and so it's quite durable. And hence, if you look to the side, the move back sidebars and the better acoustics. Uh, past that, you'll also know I had to turn to the side no longer does the mic have a captive cable, uh, also to bring the price down. Uh, no longer does it come with a Pelican case. If you look at the form factor of this, and if I can you know, reach over, sorry, and grab a 715 or a 716, uh, you'll see it's the same profile. So all our accessories uh, are interchangeable. So if someone wanted a Pelican case, they could buy one from us. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, and... Uh, street price of 2550 so kind of just barely affordable now. And will this be, is this available directly? Uh, right now, this is kind of a NAMM show preview, and probably in about two months, we'll start shipping. Cool. And one thing I wanted to add before we finish is, um, for those who aren't familiar with the 715, it uses a slightly unusual capsule, which is based on the old Sony C37. Yes. So unlike most large diaphragm microphones, it's a single-sided capsule. Yes. And on the 715, you change patterns. It's actually a mechanical switch. Yes. yes. And since, since you're mentioning that, I should also point out, since it's single diaphragm, it has more proximity effect than the more common dual diaphragm. And where that's helpful is either if, say, you're someone that doesn't have much low end and you want to get more low end, proximity effect doesn't mean more bass. It means you get close up. You can get more low end. Or say you want to do voiceovers or film trailers and you want really beefy low end. Even if you have low end, you get close up, boom, comes up. So, Well, it looks stunning. Uh Looking forward to trying it out in the flesh. So th thanks, Kelly. Yep. Have a great show. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sam.